Hello, Jonathan from Five Star Roofing Contractors. This is Joel from JND SEO. We spoke briefly on the phone earlier today, and I told you I'd send you this video over. So I want to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. Now, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste mine, so I'll make this as quick as possible. If at the end of the video you want to hear more, awesome. Let's set up a phone call. If not, no big deal. Take the tips I give you, and you guys could apply them to your site as well. All right, so the first thing we'll talk about today is content. And as you can see, I'm on your business page here. And just kind of scrolling through, I can see you guys have some of the pictures of projects you've been working on. You have your updates with a little bit of content there. A bunch of pictures of you guys working hard on different roofs with a little content with each of those, which is awesome. Some before and after, some testimonials. And then a little bit about what you guys do. One thing I would recommend is having even more content than this. Ideally, you want to have over a thousand words of content on your homepage. And the reason that you want so many words of content is that the more content you have, first off, it helps you rank for Google searches and for people to find you. But the other reason is that the more words you have, the more keywords you can put into it, such as roofing Lemonster MA. When you do a search like this, this is what a new customer would put in. They don't know of a specific company, so they're just looking broadly. Who's a roofer in my town, right? First thing they're going to find is these ads at the top of the screen. As you'll find with any Google search, these are the new Google guaranteed ads. They're better than these ones. So that's why they put them first. And they will bring you uh, qualified people looking to buy now, not looking in the future. After that, you're going to find this map section. This is what we call the GMB or Google My Business. The top three companies do show up in here. And this is all based on citations. So citations are when you get your business name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site such as Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor, just to name a few. And you guys do show up here as number three, so great job with that. You've got a good amount of reviews, um, and you do have, I see your address and all that submitted. So great job with that, guys. That is one thing that I would say you guys are doing a good job with for sure. Um, so just another little tip on your business site. Those just don't rank as well, um, but we'll, we will take a look at it here in a second. So what you're going to find is the top 10 results for this keyword or this search that we put in are going to show up on the first page. So if you want to be on the first page for any keyword, you have to be in the top 10. So for this one here that we're kind of looking at, Roofing Lemonster MA, number one for this would be the Better Business Bureau, which is a directory. Number two, Yelp. Number three, Home Advisor. Four, A Royal Roofing. And five would be, uh, let's see, Universal. Was that JSMA? So they would be number four. So what I want to do next is I'm going to take your site, Five Star Roofing Contractors, and it's a business site, which we did talk about briefly. These just don't rank as well. Um, and you know what, what I one thing I will say you guys have done a good job of is you have your header here, and that is important because that is a way to either put your company name or another keyword into um, into your site as well. So I would definitely recommend you guys to get like a .com site. Those are going to be the best and help you the most as far as ranking. Um, you know, and then you can put more of these headers in as well. So if you think of the internet as a popularity contest, whoever has the most votes, they're going to get the most attention, the most views, the most traffic. Um, so right now we do see you guys have a little trust in the area. This is actually probably more of a reflection though of the business site overall and not your specific um, site actually. So we can see that this is the power which is really high. But again, it's really for you, this, the business site that you're on, not for um, your particular site. So what we're seeing here is that you have four referring domains. Referring domains are just other websites on the internet that have links on them. And they basically refer those links back to you, right? And those are called backlinks, which makes sense, right? So these four other internet pages that have links on them to your page are sending you 14 links back to your page. You guys can be found for six keywords right now, which are what we put into our Google search for an example, Roofing Lemonster MA. And these are what really drive the traffic to your site. Unfortunately, what we're seeing right now is you guys are averaging zero visitors to your site per month. So we can actually click your keywords and see what's going on. Why aren't they bringing you the visitors, right? First thing we see is your business name. That's a good thing. That's people searching for you guys specifically. Um, and that means they know your name, right? So that's going to be your repeat business, referral business. 
So five star roofing right off the top, 500 people do search this every single month. So there's a lot of volume attached to that. I'm not sure if there's another national company that also has it and that's why the volume's so high, but let's take a look. So what we see is 500 people do search it um, and your position for this is 47. So if you remember that the top 10 are for the first page, there's 10 results per page. So being 47, that puts you at the bottom of the fifth page. So I think what's happening is people just aren't finding you guys based on your ranking. Because this is gonna be your repeat referral, but then you also wanna have in keywords that are gonna bring in new customers, right? Such as roofing Lemonster MA. This is an excellent keyword or keyword phrase. 30 people do search this. Uh, you guys are 39 for this one, so it puts you at the bottom of the fourth page. Then we have five-star commercial roofing. 150 search that. You guys number 50, so the bottom of the fifth. Union Square Pizza Lemonster, not as important, guys, as you can probably guess. So these two, I would say, not the ones you probably want to have. Five Star Roofing Company is another good one for your name. So let's. So the main, just to kind of uh, sum this up, what I would say is going on is that people just aren't finding you based on your keywords right now. Your keywords, you do have some good ones, it's just that you're ranked too far behind. So I'm going to take Royal Roofing just to give you a bit of a comparison. As you can see, they have 37 referring domains, 81 links back, 400 keywords they can be find, found for, 32 visitors to site. Still not that huge, honestly. One good keyword could get you ahead of them. Rubber Roof, 3,200. So this is what we call a national term. It's not specific to Massachusetts, New England, or um, you know even your town. So you're going to get people from all over. Not as helpful. Not as good. Um, doesn't actually also, it's not a customer looking for that either. But we'll, so let's skip these. These are not that great. They're just questions. This is a good one here, though. Roofing Lemonster MA. 30 people do search this a month, and they're number three. So that's a good one. They're getting a chunk of it with three. Um, Royal Roofing, their name, 600 do search it. Might also be a popular name for other roofing companies. They're 16 for that one. So I would say, um, you know, they're getting some, looks like, from their name. But most of what they're getting is actually from here. And they're getting some from these because they're number one. But these aren't good terms. You're not going to get customers necessarily off that. All right. So that was just a little bit, Jonathan, about content citations and backlinks. I could keep going. Uh, but, you know, obviously, I don't want to make take too much of your time. If you want to talk more, let's talk. Let's set up a time to talk. If, I, if not, take the tips I gave you. Thank you for watching today. And I look forward to hearing back from you.